Hi, my name is Connie Beasley McQueen. I'm uh, married and I have seven children. Three are grown. Four are young kids, starting at 10 down to seven. Um, of course, I live, live, lead a very busy life. Uh, about seven years ago, however, I had some heart issues and I sought out Dr. Mitra after going to several physicians and uh, had to have several oblations done. Uh, had a lot of confidence in him back then about oh a year ago or so at the dentist office of all places uh, they told me my blood pressure was up a little not high to where it was a problem but much higher than I was accustomed to so I sought out to find Dr. Mitra at that time and was unable to locate him in the meantime uh, I started having issues uh, my heart would beat rapidly from time to time. A lot of times in the evening when you don't even think, you're not even doing anything, you're going to bed. And um, I was told later that that was pretty common, that you're actually aware of your body more when you're laying down than during the day when you're actively going. Um, not that I didn't notice it during the day, but boy, in the evening, it was, it was sort of frightening. Um, I tried to locate Dr. Mitra in January and wasn't able to, and then just, like, I don't know, a miracle, I thought, his picture showed up in the South Bend Tribune as the head of Memorial Hospital's heart team. Um, so immediately I was going to seek him out. In the meantime, I had some family issues with my children and became very ill then and ended up in the hospital with heart issues and began seeing Dr. Mitra again and immediately he put me on medications for the issues I was having. And I have to tell you, it was very hard for me. I, uh, I'm a whiner and I complained to him that I could not do this, that something had to happen differently. And he assured me, even when he saw me in the hospital, that no problem, they have technology today that they didn't have seven years ago and it wouldn't be an issue to get some help. Um, and I'm not a skeptic at all, I believed him, but I, when I went to the doctor he said that of course he had to monitor this like he did in the past to make sure he knew exactly what was wrong at the time and um, and he did tell me that he knew what was wrong and he said that he could do a surgery immediately like I had done before uh, which was another oblation but that they had a new technology out and um, the key to it is I think uh, having faith in your doctor and I definitely have faith in Dr. Mitra and I must say his staff uh, you walk into his office and you are greeted with a smile. You are greeted with warmth. Um, I even sit and listen how they talk to other patients, which sounds strange, I know, but I thought, well, maybe it's just this one person, but it's his team. Um, so once you have this confidence in a doctor, um, you know you can trust him. So when he offered this new technology, uh, I jumped right on it. My family, of course, wasn't as eager as I was to try something new, but I must say it, it was very, very good. Uh, the results were very good. Um, nothing's 100%. You have to follow your instructions from the doctor, um, and that's what I intend to do to keep going. The one thing that I can say that to me is so important, um, the side effects I had from the drugs that I were ta I was taking were crippling almost in my opinion because it slowed me s down to where I really couldn't function as normal. Um, so now I am on just now for two more weeks on a blood thinner and this is one month and four days since I've had the surgery so I will be off of the blood thinner uh, at the end of this month and then uh, next month I was recommended to take a bare aspirin once a day for 30 days and that's just as a preventative for the fact that they went in and did the surgery and to make sure that no blood clots are you know in the heart yet so I mean this is just so important that you it's a life-changing event uh, to know that there are things out there to that you don't have to be trapped down to medication so I would recommend this for anyone who's like myself and doesn't like taking any medication at all. My advice I would give to others though is when you're having these first symptoms um, is to seek out your doctor because if you wait, and he told me one of the reasons I could do this is because I got it done before too many things went wrong. 
So if you feel these things, these little quivers or anything, at night especially, you know there's something going on. Uh, a fluctuation in your blood pressure, you know that you need to get help. So my suggestion is to look for those kinds of signs and to choose a doctor that you could have a good rapport with. And Dr. Mitra's team is one that I would highly recommend.